Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on types of variables in Java. My name is Arjuna and I will be guiding you through the different types of variables in Java, namely local, static and non-static or instance variables. Let's get started. In this presentation, we will explore the three main types of variables in Java, local variables, static variables and non-static variables. By the end of this session, you should have a clear understanding of the differences between these types and how to use them effectively in your Java program. First, let's talk about local variables. Local variables are those declared within a method, constructor or block. They are only accessible within the scope they are declared. In meaning, they are not visible outside of that block. One key point to remember is that local variables must be initialized before they are used. Example of local variables. Here is an example of a local variable in Java method. In this code, local var is a local variable declared inside the my method method. It is only accessible within this method. If we try to access local var outside of my method, the compiler will throw an error because it doesn't exist outside this code. Next, we have static variables. Static variables are declared with a static keyword within a class. Unlike local variables, static variables are shared among all instances of the class. This means that if, we, if one instance changes the value of the static variable, all other instances will see this change. Static variables can be initialized at the time of declaration or within a static block. Here is, uh, here is an example of a static variable. In this class, my class, static var is a static variable. Notice how it is declared with a static keyword. When we print static var in the main method, we are accessing the class level variable which is shared among all instances of my class. Lastly, we have non-static or instance variables. These are declared within a class but outside any methods, constructor or block. Each instance of the class has its own copy of these variables. These are initialized either at the time of declaration or within a constructor. Instance variables represent the attributes of an object. Here is an example of an instance variable. In this class, my class, instance where is an instance variable. Each time we create a new instance of my class, a new instance var is created and can be initialized with a different value. This example shows a constructor setting the value of instance var and a method display that prints its value. Here is one more example showing different types of variables in Java. Here, the string name and roll number, these are the non-static variables as there is no any keyword static in front of it. But count variable is a static variable as here is a static keyword in front of this count variable. Now this is uh, the constructor where roll number is initialized by using the count variable and uh, name variable is initialized by this uh, parameter mm. One more example, uh, one more method is uh, declared here is display to display the data members of student class. Now. In this uh, main method, we declare and uh, initialize uh, three instances, S1, S2, and S3 of the student class. So these S1, S2, S3 are local variables of these main methods. And ARGS is also a local method uh, whose uh, scope is within main method only. Now, uh, the roll number and name, these are instance variables. So separate copy is uh, uh, created for these three instances. But the count, the copy of count variable is uh, only one and shared among these all three uh, student instances. If we demonstrate this program practically, then if we type this program like this, same program we have seen before, we practically implemented here and see the output. What is the output? If we compile the program by using Java C, here is the output. By using Java C, we compile our program, Java C, student.java. Uh, this program compiles fine and here is the output roll number one name round one student created roll number two name round two students created and finally three students created this one two three comes uh, by using count variable because it shares uh, the memory among all the instances here we uh, only change uh, the name of the student as ram sita and sham and uh, run once again so we get the different output as uh, first student name is ram then sita and then sham by using the constructor we initialize these uh, values so moving towards next let's summarize the differences between now we see the memory allocation uh, in this example here the count is common for all the instances one s1 s2 s3 but roll number name uh, are the non-static variables or instance variables so each instance having its own copy 
like uh, same way if we declare the more instances uh, all the instances share the count commonly but uh, roll number and name has their own copy then let's summarize the differences between these variable types local variables are declared inside methods or blocks and have a scope limited to that block static variables are declared with the uh, with the static keyword and shared among all class instances instance variables are declared inside the class but outside methods and each instance of class has its own copy now see memory allocation memory allocation for these variables also differ local variables are stored in the stack memory static variables are stored in the static memory area which is part of the method area instance variables are stored in the heap memory which is used for dynamic memory allocation now use cases each type of variable has its use cases local variables are used for temporary storage within methods static variables are ideal for shared resources or constants instance variables represent the attributes of objects and are unique to each instance to recap Understanding the different types of variables in Java helps with efficient memory management and code organization. Local variables are method specific, static variables are class specific, and instance variables are object specific. By knowing when and how to use each type, you can write more effective and effective Java program. That brings us to the end of this video. Do you have any questions? If you have any questions, comment below. Thank you for your attention.